were watching the Tasting Channel. Up next, learn the coveted recipe for one noodle soup. Followed by science fiction classic, Bean Runner. He say, you bean runner. This is Sarah, and this summer I'm working on tasting feet again for my robot noodle feet. So what are tasting feet? Um, let's see. Two years ago, I had this awesome artist residency at the European Space Agency's technical facility in the Netherlands, and I was lucky enough to bring noodle feet along with me and develop some interesting behavioral appendages for him there. So as you know, noodle is an aspiring space probe. Yes. So he wants to grow up one day and go to another planet and do all of the cool things to the environment that other space probes do, the, the big kid space probes. So I've been working hard as a parent to equip him to be able to do that. I called the whole endeavor the Wandering Artist Project, and it involved the creation of four different appendages, and each behavioral module would be capable of doing some sort of task. Creating these modules meant that I would need to define some parameters for myself and abide by them. All the mechanical and electronic guts would have to fit within a 3 by 12 inch cylindrical form factor, leaving the top 3 inches unobstructed for the attachment of Noodle's leg bones. You could think of it as the what's the most silly yet functional mechanical system Sarah can design to fit in a water bottle problem. So it took me roughly two months to prepare a working proof of concept to bring along with me for each of those feet. And once I talked to all the experts at the technical facility and got a bunch of inspiration based on their personal testimony, I went back home and had another two months to create a second iteration of each of the four feet. And then I exhibited them at the Ars Electronica Festival at the end of the summer. And by that point in time, the second iteration, um, I would say they were 50% working and 50% not working. Uh, regardless, I displayed them in their half-functioning form, and once I got home, I shelved everything because I was completely burnt out and exhausted, and I haven't done anything with them since. So this summer, I'm hoping to change that because at the end of this cycle, I get to exhibit them again. And I'm hoping that I get at least one or two of them doing what I wanted. So that is my goal. The one that I'm going to be looking into first is the the bean planting foot, and that is these guys right here. So this is the proof of concept, and this is the second iteration that half worked. And what this beautiful little device did is uh, basically grip onto a surface with some retractable toes that are located down here at the bottom and plant a bean into the thing it was gripping onto. So you can see right here at the bottom, there are these sharp little red bits. These actually swing outwards on a pivot and they grip onto the surface that the foot is making contact with. And there's a hole down here at the bottom that the bean drops down through. This spirally bit right here in the middle is actually an Archimedes screw. And there's these little chambers on the side and these chambers hold the beans. And as that screw rotates, the beans travel up through the channels, and once they get to the top, they actually slide in towards the middle and can fall out through this cavity here, this tube. And that's more or less how this thing worked. <laughs> it's really convoluted, but it was kind of fun to see in action because the whole outfit works with just one motor. The way that I was able to make this work was by utilizing a clutch system. So this is the first clutch that I ever built in my entire life. A clutch allows you to drive two separate mechanical systems with the rotation of one motor. One system will rotate along with the motor in both directions, while the other system will engage and spin in one direction, but not the other. Which is exactly what I needed for my bean hopper. The toes would need to twist back and forth to actuate in and out, while the Archimedes screw should only rotate in one direction to ensure that the beans keep traveling up. 
So with one tiny servo motor, I directly drive the retractable toe mechanism at the bottom of the foot by rotating a central gear attached to a long shaft. I use a sawtooth gear at the top of my Archimedes screw, whose teeth engage when the motor rotates in one direction but not the other. While the spur gear attached to the motor directly drives the drive shaft attached to the toe mechanism, it also contains a fixed hexagonal shape which chucks into a matching hexagonal cavity at the top of the screw. Some light springs are captured between the two bodies to help tension the sawtooth gear as it rides back and forth to rotate the screw. The whole assembly, the directly driven but transferred motion at the bottom of the foot and the differential rotation driven by the spring tension sawtooth gears at the top, both magically fit inside the three by nine inch form factor of my own design restraints. But it wasn't without flaw. The thing that I had issues with though, and I remember this, is that the beans kept getting lodged in these channels because beans are kind of a weird irregular shape and not all of them wanted to play nicely. And every so often one would get jammed inside of these channels and the whole system would just lock up. And then the motor would get really hot and you could smell it and I'd have to unplug it, dislodge the, the bean from being stuck in Noodle's foot and reset everything. And that was not ideal. Uh, I enjoy the, the existence of this, but it's probably going to end up getting reimagined entirely and that's okay. The toes will still be there though. And I might add, the toes were inspired by an, an American space probe from JPL, which is called Lemur. And I was lucky enough to be invited to JPL with Noodle to visit Lemur in the R&D lab shortly after I returned from my artist residency at ESA. And my friend Ted took me around to see all the cool stuff that they were doing. And Noodle got to meet his I don't, I don't know, like his great uncle, the thing that inspired the, uh, the retractable toes. So without further ado, I'm going to jump back into work and start doing the CAD and the printing and see if I can come up with a gripping, bean-injecting foot for noodle that actually works. And I'll check back in with you and let you know if I pull it off. So until next time, keep making awesome stuff out there and thank you for watching.